It's um sometime. Hi guys. Can you guess the title of my next video? <laughs> Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Is it bad to hold our urine? Dude, right now I'm not in a state to answer you. Okay, I'll explain. Our body has various ways to get rid of unwanted huh? waste materials. One of these ways is through urine. Urine is a liquid waste consisting of unwanted materials like water, salts, urea, uric acid, etc. Mm. The urinary system consists of two kidneys, two ureters, a urinary bladder, and a urethra. The two kidneys filter blood and produce urine, which flows through the ureters and starts getting collected in the urinary bladder. When our urinary bladder starts getting full and it begins to stretch or expand, the nerves of the bladder inform the brain to produce an urge to urinate. Now, when we want to urinate, the bladder contracts and the urine flows out of the body through the urethra. Once in a while, it's okay to hold our urine, but stress and pressures of modern life oh. make us hold our urine more often and for longer periods, which can have negative effects on our health. For example, a wet and warm bladder of urine is the perfect breeding ground for harmful bacteria. Hence, if we don't empty the bladder regularly, then the bacteria are more likely to grow and multiply, causing urinary tract infection or UTI. Holding the urine can also cause the bladder to remain expanded or stretched for too long. This may make it difficult for the bladder to contract normally while urinating. As a result, the bladder will not be emptied completely which can lead to discomfort, pain and other serious problems. Oh. Sometimes, the excess urine in bladder can even flow back to the kidneys, causing kidney damage or kidney infection. In very rare cases, the bladder may even burst, risking the life of the individual. Huh? Topic: Pins and needles. Why do limbs fall asleep? Because they are tired. <sighs> nah. Huh? It basically happens because of nerves. Through nerves, our brain communicates with our limbs. Wow! Nerves are so amazing! Yep. However, when we cross our legs or sleep on an arm for very long, we apply pressure causing the nerve pathways in its surrounding arteries to squeeze. Oh. Hence, the nerves do not work properly and the arteries cannot supply required nutrients to the nerves. As a result, the signals sent by our brain do not reach the limb. Thus, we cannot move it. So, hmm. we say that our limb has fallen asleep. Also, in some situations, some of these squeeze nerves stop oh. sending signals, while some fire <laughs> hyperactively. This gives us the sensation of pins and needles. <laughs> Why do bees build huh? hexagonal honeycombs? I don't know. Honeybees build honeycombs <laughs> to store honey, pollen, eggs, etc. The honeycombs are built oh. using beeswax, which honeybees produce themselves. However, honeybees produce very less amount of this wax. Hence, oh. honeybees required a shape that would give them maximum storage using oh. minimum beeswax. Now, mm. if each cell of the honeycomb would be a circle, yeah. then there would be a lot of gaps or wasted oh. space between cells. So why didn't honeybees make triangular or square cells? These shapes don't leave any wasted space. Popular research suggests that hexagonal cells use less wax and provide more space as compared to triangles and squares. This means <laughs> honeybees can store more honey while using the least amount of wax. Besides this, the overall structure is much more stable oh. and strong. <laughs> Why is blood red in color? Because every day it bathes using red paint. No. Our blood mainly consists of a liquid called plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. However, the color of our blood is basically because of red blood cells. Each of the red blood cells contains hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is an iron-rich protein. When hemoglobin binds with oxygen, the interaction between them gives our blood its red color. 
Moreover, like human beings, not all animals have red-colored blood. This is because the blood of some animals, such as octopuses, spiders, etc., has hemocyanin instead of hemoglobin. Hemocyanin is a copper-containing protein. When hemocyanin binds with oxygen, their interaction gives the blood a blue color. The blood of some lizards has biliverdin instead of hemoglobin, which give their blood a green color. Topic: Heat. Why is a laboratory thermometer not used to check body temperature? Oh, you have got fever. Why don't you check your body temperature using a thermometer? Hmm. No, please don't use a laboratory oh. thermometer. You won't be able to get the correct reading. Why don't you try another one? This is called a clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer is different from a laboratory thermometer. Aha. Oh, seems like you have made your choice. A clinical thermometer has a kink. When we check our body temperature, the kink present in it prevents the mercury from falling back down, thus helping the thermometer to hold the temperature recorded by it and giving us an accurate reading. Hmm. Now, in a laboratory thermometer, huh? this kink is absent. This is because a laboratory thermometer is meant to measure immediate temperature. Hence, hmm? after recording our body temperature, until we check it, the mercury will fall, thus not giving us an accurate reading. <laughs>